Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. It was a day for game fishing with light winds and clear skies. Mare Island was the destination and Matthew Hewitson from Fishing in God Zone and I were out to troll some plastic on the Senate Rods 6 metre surtees. There was some very good bait fish sign on the sounder as we headed past Penguin Shoals so we put the lures in just in case the fish were in close. We had a Pakula Lumo Sprocket, Pakula Bear Belly and Lime Azukas in the spread. It didn't take long for a tuna to hit the small red and white jet head and a small tuna was pulling line off the 15 kilo outfit. With a skippy in the bag it wasn't long before we had another hit, this time on the green zookas. Not as powerful as the first one, it still gave me a short scrap before we boated a fat little albacore, a nice eating species of tuna. Albacore are best bled by cutting a 1 inch slice behind the pectoral fin, expect a big mess and have a bucket or something ready. I kept an eye out while doing this in case a big bitey was in the vicinity. Matt was up next with another hit on the zookas. We had seen this fish zero in on the lure before it grabbed it. It didn't stay connected unfortunately but we were happy about the number of strikes we were getting so far. I wanted to try something a bit different, so rigged up a busted lure on a spinning rod and reel. The plan was to cast to the sides as we trolled in likely areas to see if I could draw fish to the boat or elicit a strike from a passing tuna. Busted lures are good for this because they smoke big bubble streams and can handle high speeds in the water. Some may shake their heads at this, but you never discover new ways until you try something out of the box. Trolling closer to Mare we could see a pot of dolphins making their way across our path with another boat following them. I stood up on the side of the boat to get a bit of view of the ocean. You have to be constantly on the lookout for birds or splashes or clues that will tell you where the fish may be. Things were a bit quiet. Matt and I were taking turns every half hour on the rods, either driving or scanning for likely fish holding activity. It was mid afternoon when I happened to glance back down the wake and just caught the brooch of a huge tuna. It had come fully out of the water and tried to grab the lumo sprocket but had missed. I just saw it as it reached the top of its jump and was returning to the water. Matt heard the 50 wide growl and then go quiet and saw the big splash. It was a big stocky thing, probably as big as the biggest tuna I've caught, a 60 kilo specimen back in 2009. We travelled a little way before turning around for another pass. We had trolled over the edge of a seamount when the fish had appeared. We were hopeful but unsuccessful as the big fish didn't come back for another go. The day got brighter and calmer. There is something awesome about being on the big blue when the sun is out and the sea is calm. We kept looking and scanning but we wanted to fit in some jigging as well so we started to head back towards Mare Island. We saw some possible sign on the sounder and got the jigging gear set up. We were going to drop some bite jigs to see what the local kingfish thought of them. We were both using sinnet rods. Matt had an accurate reel on his razor and I had a maxwell reel on my Van Diemen. Sinnet rods are some of the best jigging rods available and they are beautiful to jig with and awesome to fight fish with. 
I hooked up on a good kingfish in about 80 meters of water. I was pretty determined not to let this one get away after losing two nice fish on my last trip due to gear failure. It was a heavy fight with my thumbs on the spool as well for a bit of turning power. There it was, I could almost taste kingfish steaks when The hook had slipped one second too late. That was the luckiest kingfish in the Bay of Plenty. That was our day. Close on the big game fish and close on the kingfish, but that's fishing I suppose. We had at least one fish in the bag to eat. This is Scott from Digital Fish, we're content their catches.